everyone, this is Maria and this is my collecting habit. Merry Christmas, you guys. Happy holidays. I have a few videos I want to film today. Hope I get around to all of them so I can edit them and post them. And then I'm gonna see, I think I have maybe some other things I want to share before New Year's. I'm sure I do, you guys. And so, and some of you have been asking, at least two of you have asked if I would show my collections, how I set things up. Well, that is going to be a work in progress. And so for sure, I will definitely show you guys my sewing room, which is also going to be my collecting room, my doll room and toys and things like that. And so I will be excited to share that with you once I get it all done. And so that is one of my goals for 2023. Okay, so I have these two bags here. And so this is all I purchased at the Barbie doll show that I went to a few months ago. I met this really nice lady at this Barbie show. She's a really good seamstress. Look at this, you guys. Look at this little dress. Just so cute, right? Look at this, the straps. Just really, really cute, nice fabric. And so, cause you know what, you guys, the vintage Barbie doll clothes, they are getting so expensive. So if I do get them for a good deal, I will pick them up, but I'm having a really hard time paying like a ton of money for them. And so, but sometimes I get lucky you guys, and that's when I'll buy them. But look how pretty, I thought, you know, I can put these on some of the vintage dolls. And so I like that one. Oh, wait till you see this one, you guys, look at this. This is so pretty. And so I'm gonna put my hand in here so you can get a better look at it. Look at this one. I can't remember how much I paid for these because it's been a little while, you guys. But you know what? It still came out a lot less than buying all the vintage clothes. Look at these, so cute. These would be called like a sheath dress. And so this reminds me of the vintage dress that Mattel made years ago back in the 60s but she used different colors of fabric and she also used the Velcro where the vintage outfits of course had the snaps, but I love the fabric choices that she made. They're so much fun. Look at this and the blue one, so cute. And then also the pink one. And then this little one right here with the little polka dots, just really love this. I love polka dots, you guys, just adorable. And then I also got this one from her and so she crochets also, look how cute this is, right? I don't think it's marked, oh, $5, I paid $5 for this. When I saw this, I knew I had to have this. I think it was around maybe eight to $10. And so I got this in November at the antique station at the Circle of Orange. And so I was shopping there with my sister that day, but look how cute. And it's sort of three dimensional, can you see that? And so it's just something here where you can just set down and maybe put some little ceramics or something in front, but I am definitely going to use this probably for little dolls and little background, just really, really cute. I just loved it. So I did forget to share this one with one of my estate sale hauls. And so look how pretty she is. She is brand new, still in the original package. And she is, it says, Collector Costume Dolls by Peggy Nisbet. I remember that name. And so there's information here. And so it looks like she's one of the Royals. Look at this. And I'm not sure which one, I think it's on the little tag, but I'm not gonna open that right now. She's still sealed. And I only paid $5 and I remember that's why I picked her up. And I believe she was 25% off that day. So I thought, well, why not, right? So this past summer, my husband, Joey and I, we got to spend a day with our daughter-in-law, Brenna, who was visiting from Northern California. And so we ended up in Orange at the Antique Station and we had a lot of fun. And so while we were there, I came across these right here, the Sunshine Family Dolls. These are from the 1970s and I'd really been looking for these, you guys. I did find some on eBay, but they were rather expensive. And so these were more reasonably priced and they're in the package. So I think with both of these, I think Joey paid around $60, something like that for them. And I was really thrilled. And so I got this set right here. These are, again are from the 1970s. There's the mother and the father and the two children. I wanna show you the artwork on the back. They are made by Mattel Toys. Look at that, you can see the house that was available, different fashions. And so, and then I also got the grandparents, which I was really thrilled in the box, you guys. I have since found some more at an estate sale 
but I am really happy to have all of them. Look how cute these are. And so look at the back here, the artwork, the items that are available. Look at the truck, look at all of that. And so I hope I can find some more Sunshine Family items, like some of the outfits and some more of the accessories. So on another trip to the Circle of Orange at the antique stores, my husband and I, we ended up at a different store. Now this store has a downstairs. So it looks like it maybe it used to be an old department store once upon a time, like a long time ago. And so going down the stairs, they have like so many neat things down there, things that I really like, you guys. I mean, the upstairs is really nice, but the downstairs is what has what I like. This is what I got on one trip here. Look at this, this is a Penny Bright. Now I have shown you Penny Brights before, but this one was in the original case. You could see it has scratches on here. That's okay with me, you guys. And so look at the back, it's got a little handle. So that's how she looked like when you found her on the store shelves back in the 1960s. So there are these two booths that I really like on the lower level of this particular antique store. I really love the way the seller displays everything. Just so nice, such great presentation. It makes me wanna buy the things and that's really good. So on this day, I went ahead and grabbed this, you guys. And so that was the same day that I got the Penny Bright. It is a puppet, it's a vinyl puppet. Look at this. I don't know where you would get this. Who knows if it was a freebie or maybe you bought it this way back in the day, but it's a Scotty dog. Isn't this cute? I just really like it. I love how she went ahead and put cardboard in here and some paper clips. And so I bought this because to me, this just represents my era. I've been trying to get Joey to collect the following thing for a while because I do run into them every now and then and they're all different. And I remember when he worked on some with our sons when they were in Boy Scouts. And so they would have these competitions with these cars. But anyways, you know where you make your own car out of wood, out of a piece of wood, and then there are rules and everything. Look at the wheels. This is a three wheeler. My husband Joey loves things with three wheels. And so you guys, I'm gonna keep an eye out for these for Joey every time I go out to antique stores or flea markets or estate sales. So then a few weeks ago, when I was hanging out with my sister at the Circle of Orange at the antique stores, we went back to this one. And so we went downstairs and I went to my favorite booth, which I'm gonna show you some of the things that I found there. That's the booth, you guys, where I got the little Scotty dog puppet. And so I just love those booths. They are just so neat. But I did look around and I found this right here. This was at a different booth. And this is the Fashion Queen Barbie. Oh my gosh, she's in really good shape. She was $60. And so actually she was a little bit more and they asked me if I would make an offer. And I did and the seller accepted it. They actually called her and she accepted it. So I paid $60. She has the blue headband original. You can see she has the molded painted hair, really nice face paint, and then this original Mattel Barbie doll dress from the 1960s, it's called After Five. And so originally it had a little hat on here. And so I think I can find that somewhere else, you guys. And of course I'll be able to find the black heels. And so eventually, you guys, eventually, and so I was really, really happy. I had a $25 gift card from my sister, one of my sisters. And so I just went ahead and applied that to the. Do you have the original wigs that go to her? And that's why she has the molded hair. I may have said that. I don't know, you guys. I'm just chattering away. Vintage records, look at these. These are called Peter Pan records. How cute they are, right? 49 cents. You can see they have the vinyl record inside. And so I paid, I think I want to say like $1.49 each, something like that. And so look at this. Oh, by the way, on this day, I think everything was 20% off on top of that. And so I got both of these. And then I got this one right here, the 12 Days of Christmas. And so I'm going to show you the back again. Look at the artwork. You could definitely tell these are probably 60s or 70s. And so anyways, I just really love these. I love the artwork and I love to put out some of these things, you guys, and even the Christmassy things, vintage things, you know, among my other collectibles. And so I can hardly wait to get my room all ready so I could share that with you. And next Christmas, 
We're gonna do a tour, you guys, where I set out Christmassy things. At the same seller's booth where I got the records, I also got these vintage comic books, the Archies. And so I love the Archies. I still have a DVD, you guys, with the cartoons, and every now and then I put it on for background sound while I'm cleaning the house. I just love it. And so these are priced at 20 and 25 cents originally. I was buying my comic books, you know, in elementary school. They were a real treat to buy. You'd read them from cover to cover more than once, you guys. And so, but I remember still buying them when I was in junior high. Also, I wanna say it's getting a little dark here, you guys. I was hoping to do my other videos today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. And so, but anyways, look at this. And then here are the backs where you could order things. Isn't that neat, you guys? And so, but anyways, yeah, these were fun. And these were just a couple of dollars each. And then at the same booth, I got this magazine. It's a vintage McCall's Christmas magazine. And so it says McCall's Christmas Make It Ideas. And the original price was a dollar. And then for a few dollars, I got a couple of other things from the same booth, like this little booklet here. This is a souvenir from Disneyland. I remember getting these when we were kids and it says Disneyland highlights and look at the stars. Oh my gosh. And the rooftops. And so when you open it up, it's like little mini postcards, you know? And so I just remember loving these when I was a kid. I cannot remember how much I paid at her booth, but everything was very, very reasonably priced. And then the last thing I got from her booth was this little fashion booklet right here for Vogue dolls. It says the Vogue doll family. And so inside, you will see all of the fashions. You can see it's in black and white. This is probably from the 1950s, you guys, and the cover is in color. So every now and then, my husband Joey and I, we head off to the Long Beach Flea Market. It's on, I believe, the third Sunday of the month. And so, but it's a lot of fun. And so on this particular day, we found some tins that we really, really liked. And so these are Coca-Cola. And look at this, you guys, they're a little bit three-dimensional. It's like a 1950s diner. And so we have the artwork going all the way around. It's just really, really cute. We were trying to figure out what was inside. So we we're thinking maybe it was just a Coca-Cola tin and then you could put whatever you wanted inside. I believe I paid $10 for both of them, you guys. And so we have the diner here, and this one right here is the gas station. Look at this. I remember when gas pumps look like this, you guys. Oh my gosh. And look at the machines right here, and the car, love the old car. And then you could see the rooftop on this one is a little bit slanted compared to this one that's flat. When I saw this pepper doll, I had to get her, you guys. She is so cute. This one is a little bit different from the other ones that I have, the straight leg, the early ones. And so again, she is probably mid 60s. Look at the longer hair, so cute. She has bendable legs, you guys. That's what makes her different where the other ones have the straight legs. Look at this. You could pose her. She is posable pepper. And she is part of the Tammy Ideal family made by the Ideal Toy Company. Just really like her. She was $10. I thought it was a great deal. So I went ahead and got it. I got this jar of marbles. I had to really think about it if I wanted to pay. I believe it was $30, but I did go back and get it. Look at all of these marbles, you guys. And again, they are vintage. Look at that boulder. And then all of these other smaller marbles, all different colors. And then there are even some half time. What also sold me on buying this particular jar of marbles was these bouncy balls. They were called Super Balls, made by the Whammo Toy Company originally, like this one right here. And so, and I used to get some of the small ones in the 60s from a bubble gum machine. They were actually smaller than this, the little swirly ones. And I do have some other Super Balls that I got at another flea market by chance. And so one of these days, I will do a video on just the Super Balls. That's what they were called, you guys. They were not called Bouncy Balls. They were Super Balls by Whammo. So on the same day at the flea market, I also found, look at this, more marbles in the original bag, you guys, in the original bag. And so I must have paid at least $20 for this, you guys. And so I can't remember, but I think it was 20 and I know the other one was 30. And so it was really worth it to me because again, I love marbles and this is gonna look so nice in my collection. So my husband, Joey and I, as I mentioned before in other videos, we have been collecting pop-up books for 
oh my gosh, since the mid 1990s. And we just love it. It's a fun hobby, a fun collection that we can do together. I love children's books. Joey loves, you know, the artwork. Of course I do too, but he really loves it on a different level. You know, the cutouts and everything. It's so much fun that we do this together. And so the first one is titled Tiger Takes Off. Look how cute this is. Originally $12.95. It says Planet Pop-Up. And so let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look how cute this is. It says It looks like it says raw. And so I can't remember what we paid for them, you guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, the big top. And I mean, they are so neat. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. And so those are just a few pages. And so I'm going to put that right here. The next one is called The Very Smiley Snowman. So cute. Look at that. So adorable. This is just a fun collection. And so we find them at thrift stores and at flea markets and at antique stores once in a while. Just so cute. There is a snowman. So, so cute. So the next one is called Mean Machine Trains. Look at this. All aboard. And so let's open that first page. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just love it. I can almost hear the train on the tracks. Look at that. And so there are different kinds of trains. So the next one is also about trains. It's called the Runaway Train. And so let's take a look at this one. Look at that. And there's that one. And then there are these side flaps here. So the last book that we purchased from these booksellers is this one right here. And it's not a pop-up book. This is more of a search book. And so it's called Puzzle Masters Ghostly Games. And so I just love things like this. I love the I Spy books. Those are a lot of fun. And so let's go ahead and take a look inside. Look at all the bats. And you can see the children pointing to all the bats. Oh my gosh. And so, and there is the opening part of the book. And oh my gosh, look at the maze, you guys. Have you ever gotten lost in a maze? Lost in a maze? Yep, I have twice. And so that's why mazes scare me, you guys. They do, even as a grown-up. And so I got lost in there with a friend, and this was at a pumpkin patch. And so I know, right? And then I got lost again with my husband, Joey. We could not find our way out. And so, but anyways, look at this, so cute. And so these are the books that we got at the flea market on this day. So thanks for watching this haul, everyone. I super appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Bye, bye, and happy collecting. Bye-bye.